each year, Singapore Polytechnic is proud to honour our top graduates. Outstanding individuals who have achieved academic excellence and embraced holistic education. This year, we pay tribute to the following eight graduates who have made their mark of distinction with us. For someone who used to play truant and get into fights, Go Jiahui has come a long way. A rebellious teen, he was astounded when in secondary three, his form teacher made him class monitor. It was this encounter with leadership that changed his life. Jiahui graduated from ITE with a perfect score and took up SP's diploma in aeronautical engineering. But this SP engineering scholar was not content to just excel in his studies. He took on several leadership opportunities which led to him achieving the SP Model Student Award during his final year. Grateful for the opportunities given to him, he volunteered regularly with the Swami Home and a Residence Committee. Jia Hui is a recipient of the Tay Eng Soon Gold Medal. He hopes to clinch a scholarship with the Singapore Armed Forces to pursue a career as a pilot. Chiu King Hao's life story didn't have a happy start, but things took a dramatic turn when a teacher encouraged him to express his thoughts and feelings through film. Fueled with a passion for filmmaking, this Badok Green Secondary School alumnus naturally chose SP's Diploma in Visual Effects and Motion Graphics. This SP Model Student Award winner took every opportunity to participate in projects that required his filmmaking skills. One of his efforts went on to win the best film at the Toronto Student Film Festival. King Hao later secured an internship with a production house in San Francisco, where he worked with his course mates to build a mobile studio that could conduct live video production in a truck. King Hao is the recipient of the Tan Kei Yong Gold Medal and hopes to clinch a scholarship to study filmmaking at the American Film Institute. Aaron Go Rong's interest in business began when, as a child, he helped out in his family's shop. Coupled with his desire to sail the seven seas, it was only natural for this Greenwich Secondary School alumnus to choose SP's diploma in maritime business. This SP scholar and model student took charge of his learning and gained much from the Polytechnic's leadership programs to Indonesia and Taiwan. His trip to the Harvard World Model United Nations Conference in Seoul further provided him with insights on global issues. Determined to give back to society, Aaron went to a rural village in Nepal to teach and build classrooms. He later did his internship at the Swiber Group subsidiary where he worked tirelessly on the company's processing system to improve its marketing efforts. This Chua-Chortek gold medalist plans to pursue a business or maritime degree under the Singapore Maritime Foundation Scholarship. Sally Chin Siying was already running her own blog shop when she was in secondary school. This Pasir Ris Crest Secondary School alumna chose SP's Diploma in Business Information Technology to hone both her IT and business skills. A great believer in hands-on learning, Sally joined the SP Student Entrepreneurs Club and rose quickly to become its Vice President. Her competitive nature also saw her participating in competitions to sharpen her ability to market her ideas. Determined to enlarge her experience of the IT world, Sally pursued an internship in the prestigious University College London in the United Kingdom, widening her career options and knowledge of IT. This Lo Guan On gold medalist plans to pursue a degree in Information Systems Management at the Singapore Management University to fulfil her ambition of being a change maker in the world of IT. Looking at Amanda Chia Siu Hui today, no one would ever guess that she struggled with her weight when she was a student in Holy Innocence High School. Often teased for being big back then, Amanda became rebellious the turning point came when she met a group of sporty schoolmates who took her mind off her favourite food, chocolates. It was a personal experience with weight issues that led this SP Model Student Award winner to take up SP's Diploma in Nutrition, Health and Wellness. In her three years, she got up close and personal with health issues by taking part in various activities such as health screening sessions, health mapping exercises for senior citizens and blood donation drives. 
an enthusiastic health advocate, Amanda did her internship with an organic food manufacturing company. Now sporting a healthy figure, this Tochin Chai gold medalist will be pursuing her dreams at the Yonglulin School of Medicine. All Jin Kwan Wei's mother wanted was for her son to be a useful person in society. Determined to repay her for her hard work in single-handedly raising him, Kwan Wei studied hard. This Pongol Secondary School alumnus chose to take up the Polytechnic's diploma in mechanical engineering. This SP engineering scholar maximised his learning opportunities. Taking up an internship with ASTAR's Singapore Institute of Manufacturing Technology, which allowed him to hone his research skills and be exposed to the latest technologies. But it was not all work for this SP Model Student Award winner. He became the vice captain of SP's table tennis team and spearheaded many of its winnings. He also reached out to children with cerebral palsy in Surabaya, Indonesia, to make life easier for the less fortunate. This Lee Kuan Yew Award winner has been accepted by the Nanyang Technological University to read mechanical engineering. It was a rejection from SP that caused Jonathan Pei Zhuang Sheng to reconsider his attitude towards studies. After successful appeal, Jonathan was finally accepted into SP's Diploma in Civil Engineering with Business. Recognising that SP has given him a second chance to learn, this former Tsinghua Secondary School student took hold of this valuable opportunity and made a 180-degree turn. Armed with his knowledge in civil engineering, he helped in the construction of a wooden jetty in an Indonesian village and an in-situ courtyard for a primary school in rural Vietnam. This SP Model Student Award winner further paid it forward by tutoring his juniors under SP's peer tutoring scheme. Jonathan has been accepted to read civil engineering in NUS. This Lee Kuan Yew Award winner hopes to pursue a career with the Land Transport Authority and someday even return to SP to lecture. When Tan Fong Sin was in secondary two, she witnessed the death of a school senior. Following this traumatic event, she vowed to pursue a career in medicine. And so this former Sinmin Secondary School student took up SP's diploma in biomedical science. Through SP, Fong Sin interned at the prestigious Harvard Institute of Medicine, where she encountered firsthand the challenges and satisfaction that comes with a career in medicine. An overseas experience in Chengdu, China, marked her start in community service. Back in Singapore, she pioneered Project St. Luke's, which planned activities and served the elderly from St. Luke's Elder Care Center. She was also involved in a year-long project at Mines, where she helped the beneficiaries acquire social skills. It is the dream of this Lee Kuan Yew Award winner to combine her love for medicine and community service to make a greater impact on society. SP is proud to celebrate the success of our institutional award winners. These graduates have embraced our vision to prepare our students to be work-ready, life-ready and world-ready. <laughs>